I'll wager you a bet that in 10 years time, there won't be a single publication in the natural sciences that occurs in hard copy. The internet age has had a huge impact in publishing in academia. So much so that for scientific publishing to continue to thrive, it has to engage with current industry practice within the digital sphere. I wouldn't say that uh, the web, the internet, and digital age has made publication worse, or the process of publication worse. It certainly speeded it up. So communication is much faster, uh, obviously, email and so forth. Submission processes are much simpler. Uh, it's much easier to prepare manuscripts. So from the point of view of authors, and also from the point of view of reviewers, it's also much easier. As a scientist, we're not trained to think in those sorts of contexts, and yet it's terribly important in the internet age to be able to get across concepts quickly and simply in a way that's accessible, not just to the specialists in your own field, but also to other scientists who may be knowledgeable, but may not be actually working in exactly the same topic. Plant Physiology publishes fundamental science, so we're looking for scientific research which pushes the boundary of knowledge in general in plant biology. But in every case, we're looking for science that expands the frontiers of knowledge, not simply that reproduces uh, work that has been done in other systems or that brings knowledge into a uh, context which is already relatively well known. So what I often encourage authors to do when they prepare manuscripts is to think about the soundbite. What is the one most important thing that you as an author want to get across to your audience? And if you can put that in a single sentence, then you're 90% of the way to producing what is likely to be a very good manuscript. <laughs>